an HTTP proxy on the other hand and I added insecure here to definition to define between an HTTPS proxy which decrypts your HTTP connection right so it's like a little bit different but here the client is actually aware of the proxy it defines the proxy IP address on their machine okay you can set it there and we're gonna show you how to do that we're gonna build a Node.js application to act like a dumb proxy and goes to the, through that it's a very powerful stuff here right so essentially you define the proxy and you have the IP address okay when you do that you go to google.com your browser or uh, your browser or app like if you do a curl request to HTTP google.com or uh, and you specify that proxy okay which almost by default is use the system proxy right if you don't specify it use the system proxy the TCP packet is destined to the proxy okay however big however so the TCP packet the packet is the IP address is the proxy it's not this guy okay and the source is this guy but that's question okay if if I'm not specifying the Google IP address how does it make it there we're gonna come to that and that's why it's HTTP insecure so if I send that thing here okay the proxy will receive it and says oh, okay right I am a proxy I know I'm proxy this is packet is intended to me from a layer 4 perspective but if I look at the data I know that you want to make a request I know I'm a proxy so you want to make a request to google.com and that actually establishes another TCP connection between the proxy and google.com we change the IP addresses on the packet we create a brand new packet send it to the actual Google IP address we do a DNS obviously and we send that how does the proxy know that you're going to Google there is a header called host in the HTTP protocol in HTTP 1.0 this header didn't exist they added it in 1.1 and made it a standard okay so in HTTP 1.0 you couldn't use proxies because the proxy would say okay you're going to me but I have no idea where you're going son I have no idea where you're going so how do I how do I know where you want to go right because the client the targets the TCP packet as as the proxy okay that's the idea here and you change that and then obviously the client gives back the the server gives back the results uh, it's coming from this time google.com going to the proxy so the client actually the server doesn't know that the client that's the definition of proxy remember a proxy the server doesn't know the client in the reverse proxy the client doesn't know which server it's connected to okay so that's always I like to use this definition if you're interested about that okay so you're gonna send the results but what it is as it okay let me change that it is coming to you sir and it is coming from me and send it through that red pipe essentially should have changed this to red instead of green but you get the idea that's an HTTP proxy what's the benefit of this right what's what's the good thing about this you use TC two TCP connections. I don't know if it's a pros or cons but you look through the content you have to look through the content that's the HTTP proxy it has to look in order to make some decisions because it needs to know where it's connecting to right host okay it changes the content sometimes right it adds its own headers like X forward to so the server actually knows which client is connecting to sometimes right yeah so the server can know which client it is the original client if it wants to the proxy adds some layer 7 uh, headers that actually makes the server know which the cl original clients right so it changes the content it provides anonymity optionally like we did okay so we don't know the IP address right but sometimes some cl some proxy that we discussed the the clients information in the header because it can changes the content right so it can provide anonymity optionally some some proxies can provide that okay and it is used in service meshes. I like to add that because what Linkerd had done smartly is they use a proxy server, an HTTP proxy server, and they they make you make requests like that, HTTP service one. And service one is not a machine. It's not a DNS. It doesn't exist. But they ingest that because you're going to send it to the proxy. The proxy looked at this and 
based on that, it makes another request to another service, right? So this doesn't make sense if you make uh, if you request it like that because service one doesn't exist in the outside world. But the proxy changes the content and look at that, finds the service discovery and then makes the request. And we're gonna show some of that stuff for it. Okay, coming up. All right guys, so I have a Visual Studio code here. I'm gonna write my own node application that will act my as a proxy. Let's do that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and open a new folder. I already created a folder called HT proxy. I'm gonna use that. It's a blank, right? So I'm gonna use an index.js folder here, so you guys see here. And uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna const app equal require express. I'm gonna use express because it's easier, okay? And what I wanna do is instead of just uh, literally listen, to slash, okay, and um, if someone makes a request response to that, here's what I want to do. I want to console.log request, just, just log it, let's see what's going on here, okay, and then I don't want to send anything back yet, uh, well, let's just send receive, something like that, anything, right? And then app.listen, I'm gonna listen on port 8080, and then say console.log, proxy is listening on 8080. It can be any port you want, but I just chose 8080 because it's it's famous, okay? And I'm gonna add a breakpoint here, and I'm gonna listen to this thing, obviously. Now if I go to Chrome, and I do localhost 8080, I'm gonna get a request, obviously, I'm gonna look at the request. There are some headers. There is a host who made that request and all that stuff, right? And then look at that. We're gonna send that back to the results. Okay. All right. It's boring stuff. So saying we've seen this before. What are you showing us? What are you trying to do here? This is boring. Okay. Let's make it less boring. How about that, guys? So what I want to do here is actually go to my Wi-Fi connection here and then open network preferences and then go to the Wi-Fi for I, I, I don't think I'm gonna lose any connection here might I might actually but it's I'm recorded offline so I'm good go to advance and then go to proxies and then I want to add a web proxy and then this proxy is 127000 which is localhost and the port is 808080 okay let's see what will happen guys Let's see what will happen. Now I'm going. I'm not gonna even visit this thing. I'm gonna visit your example.com. It's an HTTP, like that. Anything that is not HTTPS will go to me because that's the proxy I'm using. Okay. And then guess what? If I go to host and it's example.com, that's the actual host that we received. Okay. So it's interesting. What happens if I do HTTP baloney? Guess what? That thing doesn't exist. There's no baloney service. There's no baloney host. There's nothing. Maybe the baloney.com there exists, but look at that. I get the request. I get baloney. That's amazing, isn't it? Right? And I'm gonna give back the results.